Now Nach 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 Mun the Kute Alachot the collection of laws the breaking of bread fifth part the ninth main chapter Vzeh Bechinas ninth main paragraph Vzeh Bechinas Shabbos this is an aspect of Shabbat Shu Mein Olam Ba which is an aspect of the future world Shu Az Mitzvah Gedol Lechol because then on Shabbos it's a great Mitzvah to eat Vzeh Ikek for the Shabbos and the main honoring of Shabbos is eating. Because on Shabbos, all the bad doers are separated, are disbanded. The and the evil side doesn't have any grasp. The evil side, which is an aspect of the garments of excrement, has no grasp and, and nurturing from the food of Shabbos. Because the eating of Shabbos is completely holy. As it is explained elsewhere, and this is the aspect of washing ourselves with hot water and immersing ourselves before Shabbos, the, the day before Shabbos, on Friday. And after we bathe in hot water, cleanse ourselves with hot water, we dress in the, with the clothes, the garments of Shabbos. Because we cleanse ourselves from the aspect of the garments of excrement. The aspect of what it says in Isaiah, <coughs> If Hashem cleanses the, the excrement of the daughters of Zion as it's brought down, it's brought down that that's the, the kavana, the thoughts a person has to have when he cleanses himself before Shabbat, that he's cleansing away the excrement, the bad clothing, and then we dress in the clothing of Shabbos, which are clean clothing garments, an aspect of white garments. Because Shabbos is a is an is a, a something of the future world. Because that's when the epitome and the completion of the of the clarification ha- is bechinas achila diktusha the aspect of eating in holiness bechinas yochlu anavim vizbo an aspect of what it of it says that the humble should eat and have and be satiated like we saw in the previous cha- uh, paragraph shezel bechinas asuda shel asiv v'chulu kanal this is the aspect of the future banquet that God's going to make for the righteous like we saw this is the aspect of the double portion of Shabbos that we that there is a double portion of manna that came down to these lights and we commemorate this at every meal by making the blessing of the bread on two loaves because all the clarifications that are done in the weekdays through all the Working, shirubam binin alechem. All the thirty-nine work actions that are forbidden, they're called work, and most of them are are aspects of the process of making bread. Shema zorea, like planting, the choish plowing, the colts are harvesting, the chulu. Kulam betelam b'shabbos. They all nullified on Shabbos. Ki b'shabbos imbiru, because on Shabbos these when these acts are forbidden, because on Shabbos there's no clarification. Just that all the clarifications that were done in the six days, the weekdays, they ascend to their resting place, and they're completed. On Shabbos, an epitome of completion, which is the aspect of fear of God, the aspect of the first word of the Torah, which is, which has the pure mutation if you take the word Bereshis of the words Yari Shabbos fear Shabbos and also the whole power to make the clarifications in the six days of the week this is all through the power through the, through the holiness of Shabbos which we draw to the six days of the week because from Shabbos all the six days are blessed so therefore on Shabbos, 
we set up two portions of bread, two loaves, to complete, and the loaves have to be complete. Because in the weekdays, even though it's good to, to beautify,